Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nasia and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all how I style and define my curly hair. And to let you know, I do have 4, 4A, 3C type hair. After shampooing and conditioning my hair, I parted my hair into big sections and then put it into twists to avoid tangles. And right here, I'm just putting my hair into smaller pieces, just so it's easier to deal with. For today's products, I'm using a spray bottle, Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Serum, the Curl Love Moisture Milk by Camille Rose, Camille Rose Honeycomb Curl Whip, I absolutely love this product. And then my favorite gel of all time, Extreme Wet Line Gel. Right here, I'm just spraying a small section of my hair with warm or hot water. I like to do this before applying any styling products. The first styling product that I'm using is the Honey Hydrating Serum. I take a small amount and warm it up in my hands real good. I really like this hydrating serum because it preps my hair before applying any other product. The second product that I'm using is the Curl Love Moisture Milk. And I like to pour a dime size amount in my hands and warm it up again. And this cream kind of smells like Play-Doh to me, but it is a really good product for moisture. Right here, I'm taking a small amount of the Honeycomb Curl Whip, warmed up the products in my hand and putting that all over my hair. And as you can see, I love doing the prayer hands method so the products can absorb better. And then I'm taking my black tangle teaser brush that I got from Amazon. I'm making sure that I'm detangling from the ends up to the roots. And it's very important that I take my time and I don't rush this process. And I like to do my hair like I'm doing a baby's hair. I'm very gentle when detangling. And now I'm taking the extreme wet line gel and applying it all over my roots. And this prevents me from having puffy roots. And I highly suggest doing this step if you struggle with puffy roots. Then I'm applying the gel all over the ends of my hair to add extra definition. Right here, I'm doing the shingling method by taking smaller sections of my hair. I'm taking each smaller piece of my hair to smooth it out first. I also like to rake and finger detangle my curls to smooth out any tangles. Then I'm twisting the ends of my hair to finger coil. And I love doing this to add more curl definition. And this makes my curls look 10 times better every time I do this. Just look at the definition already. They look so pretty. And I'm just making sure any fuzzy pieces that I see to smooth it out and finger coil as well. Throughout this entire video, I'm basically repeating all of the steps that I showed you and doing that all over my head. So I'll stop talking for now to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll come back to talk if there's any extra tips that I want you to know. Thing at a time, I have to learn to hide. One thing 
So for the front pieces of my hair, I like to split it up into smaller sections. And doing this really allows me to make sure that each and every curl is super defined. And this front piece of my hair that I'm doing, it tends to always be super dry. So I make sure I really take my time with smoothing my hair, moisturizing and detangling it before applying any gel. And when it comes to the front pieces of my hair, I really like to apply any oils or extra cream to avoid dryness or breakage. I forgot to record me finger coiling the front of my hair, but this is my hair after defining it. And as you can see, the curls are looking juicy, so beautiful and moisturized. And here's a video from my phone of my curls in its dry state. And this is what it looks like after diffusing and stretching out my hair. Well, thank you guys for watching my curly hair routine. And I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!